Hey what's up everybody this is Weiss back with another video editing tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to use a Vivo video. Vivo video is a video editor and it has a really good rating on Android platform. I'll be showing you all the features because I have the paid version but there is a free version for this app as well you can download it and if you like the features it comes with you can buy that it costs about four dollars it's pretty good video editor so we're gonna go and look at it if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and if you like the video smash the like button that's being said let's get started this is a vivo video editor it's a free video editor but you can buy the pro version as well so I've already downloaded that. I'm going to open that app. Okay, so this is what you see when you start Viva Video. On the top, we have some filters. We have Edit Menu, Slideshow Menu. We have Capture Option, Material, and I'm Lucky Option. So My Studio, that's where you, all your projects are going to be. We have more tools. So here we got a few apps that can be downloaded from Play Store. And then we have filters. So these are all the filters. Instagram uh, frequently asked questions as well. Now, what we're going to look at is edit menu. This is what where we edit our videos, all right? So I'm going to tap on edit, and it's gonna take me to this. So here I can download my videos from my phone. So I have one video here, which I'm going to bring that to my, to my project. Now I can trim that before I add that to my project. So just hold on this yellow and then drag to the right to trim it off. If you like the, the video to start from here, just leave it there. I'm going to trim it from the right as well. Now we have a rotate option. You can rotate your video and then we can cut the video as well. So that's been added already. I'm going to tap on add button. Now we have one clip, right? So if you want to add more clips, you can go back and add some pictures or stuff whatever the stuff you want to add so i'm going to add this clip as well i'm just going to tap on add and i'm going to hold on the this clip and i'm going to drag it to the right so i'm going to make this clip as my trailer which is going to be number one clip from the start and then we have a second clip here i'm going to tap on done all right so we have over two clips in over project so the first option you will say the theme option and then music and then edit right so edit option is the main where we're going to focus to learn well i want to show you that if you want to play your video just tap on that video if the play button will pop up and then tap on the play button to pause the video just tap on the video it's going to get paused right so when you tap on the themes down here you can see a lot of things they've been updating the software as well such as it's a Halloween theme here, trick or treat. Okay, so if I tap on that, it's going to get applied to my clip. I'm going to basically tap on none because I don't want any theme for my clip because I'm going to edit that manually. And after I will think if I want the theme or not. Right, so you can download more things by tapping on this more button. It will take you to this page and here you can see all the themes available by Viva Video. Let's go back. Now we have a music. So if you want to add your music, you can do that by tapping on music and tap on add music. So this is our, these are the few musics are available in Viva Video, but you can bring that from your own library, such as you have any music in your, any mobile storage, you can download that as well. So let's go back. It's very simple. Now we're going to talk about edit right if i tap on edit you can see i've got a bunch of features here now so the first one is edit clip and then text filter stickers fx multi music sound transition add clip right so now let's look at clip edit so i'm going to tap on clip edit there you go i have one two three four five six seven options here right so first one is trim so if i tap on trim it's going to take me to this window and here I can trim the video. I'm going to trim it somewhere here. I'm going to tap on OK. And now I need to select the second clip from here and then I can trim that as well. But I trimmed that when I imported that video to my project. So I don't want to trim that now. But I want to split that clip because I want to add some transitions. So just tap on split. 
Now this window, you can see that knife, or whatever you call it, scissors, yep. So if you keep your playhead or scissors about here and then tap on OK, it's going to get separated from the previous clip. So now we have two clips. The clip one is six seconds and second clip is 17 seconds. I'm going to split that as well. So I'm going to tap on that split button and then maybe leave it here when Aswan is my brother and that's my sister. So they start walking towards that. So I'm going to tap OK. Now we have another clip, eight second clip, nine second and six second, right? So I have four clips right now in my project. Okay, next we have a duplicate options, a very simple, just select your clip, tap on duplicate, it's going to create a copy of that clip. Next we have clip speed. So let's say you shot your video at 60 frames per second and you want to slow it down, you can do that as well. So as one start walking towards a mountains, I'm going to select the clip actually and I'm going to play the clip and where he start walking, I want to slow it down, right? So tap on this clip speed. You can make your video faster by by uh, scrolling that to by dragging that to the right and dragging to the left you can slow it down as well so I'm gonna slow it down to about let's say that much right so tap OK now that clip is basically changed to 10 seconds it was 8 second clip before let's play that okay now as you can see that it's a bit slower it's a better video now so if you shot your video 60 frames per second, you can do that as well. Next we have adjustments. Uh, this is a paid version, but I just want to quickly show you that you can actually add colors. Let's tap on adjustments. Okay, I can add brightness, control, saturation, vignetting. So, but this is a paid version. If I tap on OK, it's going to ask me to unblock video adjustment, which is going to be cost uh, 2.99 dollars and i don't want to pay that next we have a mute so you can basically mute your clip and then you can increase or decrease the volume as well by going to the music now let's go back oh actually i'm gonna accept that because i want these four clips now let's say this is my trailer and where my trailer stops i want to add some title to my video okay so i'm going to tap on text here I'm going to tap on T plus. Here I have a few images I can select from them. I just want simple text. So I just want to tap on the text and I'm going to say vlog01. Okay. And then I can basically add that image as a background. But I want simple text. So I'll just leave that simple text. I can increase or decrease the size as well. Right. Just want to make it somewhere here tap on this tick mark to accept that now we have that title all right so i'm going to accept that as well accept that next we have filters filters very simple select your clip and add your fuji filter so this is going to look like now so these are some built-in filter in viva video so i, I find them pretty cool such as this pink filter and uh, black and white especially so you want to make your video like old or something then you can add that black and white filter very simple i'm going to accept that actually and then stickers stickers are very simple these are the few images if you tap on low you got some few more images these are basically animated images so such as if i add this right and then let's see what's happening uh, it's gonna start the heart is flowing okay so these are some animation videos so not videos actually images so you can add them as well to your videos i like this one uh, i have this uh bang right this is really cool it's got good animation so i like that one but you can use them if you want let's deselect them and then just get rid of them next we have fx uh, pretty simple. I'm gonna take my playhead to about here. Okay, I'm gonna select this, 
tap on FX. So these are a few FX you have. So as you can see that if you're on vacation, you can add that kind of effect to your video. Tap on loves, so you got a few more. Lol, you got this kind of effect such as this is. I'm gonna select that first and I'm gonna move it somewhere else, right? So you have to accept that to edit that. If you tap on this bucket, it will take you to the store. And you can download more effects, right? So you have, you wanna add a clapping, Simply tap on the clapping and there you go. You got that music and the clap on the top of your video. Let's go back. Okay. Well, multi music, basically very easy. If you want to add a few more music timelines, let's such as if you want to add a few musics to your videos, you can do that as well. So that's basically multi musics. I'm going to add this and then I'm going to accept that. That's where it's going to add that music. I'm going to tap again and then add another music. All right. That's a multi music. Very simple. The main thing you want to learn is edit clip. Okay. These are the few things that you can split, trim, split, trim, split, trim, and make the clip wherever you want it. Right. Let's go back. Okay. Uh, pretty simple guys. Sound. It's basically, if you want to make a commentary video, you can do that as well. If you record your gameplays on your Android phone, and just come here and tap on this mic button and it's going to start recording your voiceover, which is very easy. So you don't even have to touch your computer to make a uh, commentary videos. Really easy. Okay, I'm going to show you the transition. So I'm going to tap on transition. So I have four clips in my timeline right now. So let's say if I want to add a transition here, so I'm going to tap here and then on the top, sorry, in the middle, we have to select the transition. So here I want to select out maybe this transition, right? I'm going to tap on that. And now when I play the video, that's going to show me like blind edge. That's the transition, right? So very simple, you have to select the part where you want to add the transition. That is why I would recommend just split your clip and keep the clip wherever you want and then add your transition as well. So next one, we have this one. This is pretty cool as well. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to try to play the video. It takes a bit of time to render that. Okay, so that was it guys. That's pretty much it is. The last thing is just add clip if you want to add more clips and more images to your video you can do that as well and uh, that's pretty much it is guys so if you like the video smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers